In this video, we'll be discussing about the super important questions of computer network subject. So starting from the first module, so first module is pretty easy. So here we have uh, network hardware in which we have LAN, WAN, PAN, WAN, and, uh, and internet works. So out of those, these three are the important ones. Then coming to the guided uh, transmission media, we have magnetic tape, twisted cable, coaxial cable, power line, and fiber optics. So out of those, these two are the important ones. So you can study those. And in wireless transmission, we have electromagnetic spectrum, radio transmission, microwave, infrared, and light transmission. So out of those, these two are the important ones. Next, short short question is OSI reference model and then TCP IP reference model. So they can ask the difference between these two. Along with that, we have uh, connection oriented and connectionless service. So this is also a pretty important question. They can ask the difference. So if you cover these topics, you'll be done with first module. So along with this, do pay attention to the other questions also. Moving on to the second module. So here we have the design issues. In design issues, we have uh, framing, error control, and flow control. In framing, there are byte, uh, byte count, flag byte with byte stuffing, flag bits with bit stuffing, physical layer coding violations, and all. So out of those, two or three could be asked under framing topic. Error control, flow control, you can look, in, look in the notes. So then we have the service provided from data link layer to network layer. This is also important. So along with this, uh, the next two main things here we would have is the problems. There would be one problem from error, error detection topic that is parity or checksum or cyclic redundancy bits. And along with that, uh, in error correction topic, we'll be having uh, we'll be having Hamming code topic, uh, Hamming code problem, or uh, Ream Solomon code or binary topic. So yeah, do pay attention to it. So here you can see the checksum question, and here we have the CRC bits question. So it could be asked for eight marks or ten marks. Next we have uh, sliding window protocols. So in sliding window protocols we have go back and go back and ask and selective uh, repeat protocols. So these are pretty important. Then we have uh, CSMA protocols. So in uh, CSMA is pretty important. Along with that, Aloha, two types of Aloha could be asked. And then collision-free protocols. In collision-free protocols, we have bitmap, token passing, binary countdown, and wireless uh, LAN protocol. These, these could be uh, asked for six marks or eight marks. Coming to third module. In third module, we have uh, the network layer design issues. So with respect to, uh, we, we need to address those with respect to uh, addressing routing, fragmentation, internet working, error, internet working, error handling, and packet forwarding. So next we have uh, the routing algorithms. There are eight to nine routing algorithms out of which one, there'll be short short on the distance vector algorithm. And then we'll have on list a uh, link state algorithm. And then uh, along with that, we have uh, optimality principle, shortest path. On shortest path, there could be a question. Like we need to solve it using Bellman code. Bellman Ford algorithm, which we have studied in fourth sem, right? Coming to the congestion control protocol, here we have uh, traffic throttling and congestion control, and then traffic policing, uh, and then load shedding and uh, admission control. Next, we have uh, quality of service. So in that uh, quality of service, we have uh, traffic shaping and packet scheduling. So those are the important topics. So next, these are also uh, these are these these also fall under the routing algorithms. That is routing for uh, mobile hosts and ad hoc networks. So yeah, question about uh, quality of service would be asked. Yes, traffic shaping, packet scheduling techniques. So coming to the fourth module, uh, here we have transport uh, services provided to the transport layer that is reliable. Uh, yeah, all these are important. Next, coming to we have these topics: multiplexing, demultiplexing, crash recovery, acknowledgement. So these are pretty important. Next, leaky bucket algorithm. It could be asked for eight to ten marks. We need to explain it. Uh, giving an example. Then we have UDP and uh, TCP, pretty important questions. So uh, it could be asked for 10 marks. In TCP, we have the TCP service model, TCP protocol with segment header, and then uh, TCP connection management modeling with finite state machine. So this is not important, but then TCP service model and TCP protocol with segment header are pretty important. And UD UDP also. Next, coming to the fifth module, fifth module is comparatively easier to third module and fourth module. So in fifth module, uh, We'll be having about the different protocols here. So HTTP, SMTP, FTP, and DNS. So along with that, we have uh, non-persistent and persistent connections with HTTP. HTTP request and response uh, message format. This would be asked for 10 marks. So we need to draw two diagrams in this. And followed by that, yeah, uh, write a note on, uh, do look into these questions. And then how DNA, DNS works and the service provided by DNS. So DNS records and messages. And then uh, we have, yeah, these are the important questions of fifth module. So if you cover these topics, I'm sure you can get passing marks in CN subject. So along with this, I have uh, I, I have acquired the previous year question papers here. So I'll be uploading these in the uh, Google Drive. So along with that, along with that, I have uploaded module-wise notes. So right from the first module to the fifth module. 
so i here i have uploaded that uh, tie notes also so yeah the the link for uh, to the link the google drive link would be available in the description and comments so yeah guys if you have if you find it in informative or helpful do like share and subscribe thank you